and the ball's going on, the ball's going on, the ball's going on. Hi everybody and welcome to Built Not Bought Campers. We've got a very, very interesting day today. It's like Christmas again. Well, it is for me anyway. Look. I've got presents on the back of the truck. And even more inside. Hell yes. Right, so let's get this unloaded. Tea trim. That's the tea trim for the furniture board. Ooh, nice. So, everybody knows I'm a little bit accident prone at times, um, especially everybody that knows me. And I'm always cutting myself to bits and knocking myself. And so, somebody bought me a little gift. And I thought, oh, someone bought me something nice. Yeah, first aid kit. Somebody was having a joke with me, wasn't they? Now you know who you are. Never mind, it's going to get used. Probably last all about two or three days. in that box but it's the ball bar and this massive great big long thing is the side runners side steps skid rails rock sliders, whatever you want to call them, to go with the ball bar. Anyway, should we get it inside, get it unpacked, and let's have a proper look. Right, I want to make sure that I get this filmed properly today. So what I've done is I've put both the front end and the back end and axle stands. So there's plenty of room to get under there, get the camera under there and show you where the side runners bolt to on this Renault traffic. Not too sure what you think of these uh, body styling bits, roll bars, side runners. Um, I like the look of them, especially on camper vans. It just gives it that little bit of panache. Oh, long words. But yeah, it definitely gives it a bit of panache, I think so. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's get on the floor, get under the van, and put some brackets on. Right, so as you can see, there's the tire. And I've popped out a grommet here. Plastic grommet just here. It was in there. Quite easy to pop out. And this L bracket here is gonna sit like that. It's as simple as that. Right. Now, how it attaches to that body. Right, this is the fixing. So, apparently that drops in there. I've got a little plastic retainer, which slips over there. And that stops the bolt from dropping through. I hope it does anyway, because if it lose this, if I lose this, uh, we're in trouble. So all I say is be careful. Put the bracket over the top, like so. Put a big flat washer on. Then you put a spring washer on. And now we can get the nut on.
right, I'm not going to tighten that up until I know for sure how high I want the bracket, low I want the bracket. So for now, that'll do finger tight. And then we need to move to the middle one. Right, it's exactly the same process as the centre. Pop the plastic grommet out. There you go. So again, same as the other one, we pop this bolt in here, we hold that and I put on the plastic retainer. That's quite a good idea that is. Right, so now you put on the bracket. There's a flat washer. A spring washer. I'm sorry you can't see very much because my hands are in the way and the shape of the bracket. And then you put the nut on. Is the second bracket right the rear bracket is a y-shaped bracket so with this put a wash on the bolt and you feed it in from the back there let's put one on here let's get one bolt on the bracket first so the two holes face out towards where what the bar is going to be attached to. And then that goes on there. Let's hang that for the moment. Put another bolt in the other hole. Which goes behind there. And tries to do it without dropping the Y bracket. So one goes on there, and one goes on there. Right. So on this side, bolts we place a flat washer again another spring washer and we put a nut on again we're just going to do these up finger tight Right, on this wire bar, I made a little bit of a boo-boo. The bolts that I used through here just now were smaller than this, and they're used for securing the bar to the bracket. So when I count up the bolts, I have these four big bolts left, and realized they were the bolts that hold the bra this wire bracket to the body of the van. So now we've put these on here. I mean, yes, they're not secured tightly, um, just finger tight, because I want to make sure that the, these bars are in the right place the front angle bars because they can move they have a lateral movement backwards and forwards so I'm gonna fit the side bar onto this and once the 
bar is fitted to all the brackets are to tighten the brackets to the body. Let me show you, it's a lot easier. So we need the bar. Right, so I've got one bolt in there. Right, again, this bracket, this end. I'm going to attach this bolt on here. Right, so let's get the second bolt in this side. So this is the front end of the vehicle at the moment. And what I'm gonna do, now I've got these two bolts in here, I'm gonna get the 16 mil spanner, ratchet spanner that I've got, and I'm gonna tighten up that bolt at the top that the brackets are secured to the body with. So I'm going to leave these bolts loose at the front. I'm going to get this second bolt in the middle. Right, so let's get the last bolt in here. Tighten up the two bolts here on the white on the Y bar. Right, so that bar's now secure. Right, so all three brackets have now been secured to the vehicle and they're solid, they're tight. Um, the bar itself is still loose because we need to sort out what position we want that at. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unwrap the bar and then find the position at what position I want this bar sat. 
and where I want it sat. Um, so once I've unwrapped it, I'll come back to you and then we'll secure the bar in the position that we like. Right, so the bar's now unwrapped. And what I've done is push the bar in on its full position to adjust it out. And do you know what? I like where it's sitting. I'm not gonna touch that. I'm literally just gonna tighten up the nuts and bolts on it now. And then go around the other side and fit the other side. Right, so that's the middle one done. Let's do the front. That's the front secure. There you go, this bar on this side, driver side, is now fully secure and in place. I'm really happy with it. I've seen them on other traffics, Prima Stars and Vivaros, and it's a nice little touch, it really is. Little things please, little minds I suppose, I don't know. Um, you know, probably doesn't take a lot to impress me. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of it. You have a look at this side. I'll show you this side quickly first, then I'll get the other side on. Um, I'm not going to film that because both sides are exactly the same. And then we're going to get onto the front ball bar. Right, so that's both side bars now fitted. I'll show you at the end of the video. But now we're gonna start working on the front ball bar. But first I need to unpack it. So there you go, that's gonna go on there. Right, so let's have a look of what we get in the bag of fixings. I must, I must say, and I will say, that the packaging on both the bumper and the sidebars has been amazing. They definitely haven't scrimped on that. Three brackets there, I'm guessing left, right, or right, left, centre. And another two brackets, I'm guessing. Nuts, bolts. Ooh. I have another pack. So, one, two. so we have five bolts. There's not very many bolts for this. And an odd bolt. Right. With all the nice packaging and everything that comes with the ball bar, the instructions are pants. And I mean pants. Takes a bit of working out. And it's literally that. And they're photographic 
reference points is that. So it's not all that. So, but I've managed to work out where, how, and what to fit it. I think I have anyway. That's all I can say. I think I've worked it out. So, let's get underneath the vehicle. So yeah, it's, um, found out what the one bolt was for as well. Believe it or not, one of the fittings, this fits behind the number plate. And the bolt is not long enough to fit this on and then reach that. So they give you the bolt to replace it. So let's fit that first. And because it's slightly off center, you put it in the left hole. So that goes in there. And that goes on there. But when you put the number plate on, the number plate will bulge out. Hey ho, that I'm not bothered about, number plate's visible, it's okay. Right, now to show you where to put the L brackets underneath. The other thing for this, fitting anything underneath, it's helpful to know exactly what you need before you get on the floor. So the bolt to attach this to is this one just here. That attaches to there, which is attached to the chassis. So it's a secure point. So let's undo that. That cross member is what holds the. Oh. That cross member is what holds the uh, radiator up. Right, so I've got a little bottle jack. And that will do for now. As you can see, I've got a gap there now. Um, I've just put a little bottle jack with a block of, block of wood under it. I just hope it's the right bolt hole. <laughs> I'm pretty confident, but I'm not too confident. Or well, overconfident as the word says. Right, so, get the bolt through there, and back up through there.
I'll just pinch that up for the moment. Because again, I want the brackets to be in the right position for the bumper. Or should I say, not for the bumper, for the nut bar. Right, so let's move over to the other side. Undo that one. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray a bit of WD over the back. See if it can penetrate a little bit of rust off of it. Right. Proper mad tight. Oh. It might be easier to take the extension bar off of this one. It works better with the extension bar. Oh, I completely missed that. that whatever the WD before he hit, it wasn't that. <laughs> right. Let's put some spray up there. And put some spray on the bolt. Right, let's put this bracket on. Do you know there's no tutorials that I found where there's a decent tutorial on fitting these nut bars? Um, I found two, tutor two tutorials, I say two tutorials. One showed an Eastern European fitting a nut bar, and the other one showed a workshop sort of running for an hour when I search for it so hopefully the tutorial that I put on here today might be helpful to somebody so nip that up tightly for now not tight but just enough there's your bracket and that cross member that I said goes across there it's just behind the plastic of the bumper and if you look behind it's the one that holds up the radiator I'm pretty sure and the radiator fan which is just there so just remember you need those bolts at either end of that cross member and they've got 16 millimeter heads on them so one either end um, you can't get the bracket round the wrong way the other end um, so personally I would put the driver side bracket on first just to make sure and then put the passenger side on and the reason why is because the toe point is in the way there. Right, so from the front, there's a bracket there. 
and you have a bracket there and you have your center bracket so let's fit the next two brackets before I do that I'm gonna go and have a cup of hot milk as somebody put in one of my videos before right I'm back I've still got my tea I haven't drunk it yet I'm too impatient I want to see what this looks like these brackets right they go on the outside and face inwards so this bracket is this way and it goes to the outside and put a nut and a bolt on as simple as that in both holes so I put one this side and this is then with the way they've elongated the holes you have two ways of two points of adjustment so this bracket will adjust up and down on both axles and then backwards and forwards on both as well right so let me put the one on the other side like I said the bracket faces inwards and it goes on the outside I do hope somebody is finding this tutorial or this how-to a little bit useful because um, like I said there isn't many tutorials on fitting these front ball bars to be honest with you not any right so they're on their finger tight for now so there's the there's the driver side bracket and the passenger side bracket just there and there's your center bracket so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the ball bar on the center one first and let it hang for a moment and then I'm gonna attach it to there and to there um, there's your nut and bolt for that the bolts that attach the ball bar to there are actually in the ball bar themselves before I do that I could actually remove this jack right that's out of the way something I've just noticed about this ball bar when you undo the bolts at the end here these bolts that attach it to the brackets underneath the vehicle this comes in two parts Right, the reason I think this comes in two parts because if you didn't want to bolt this part on you could remove this and just have the plain bar let me unwrap it and I'll show you <clears throat> so there you go there's one part I know I haven't unwrapped this yet but you could fit that without actually fitting what I call the growly teeth Right, I'm going to put the ball bar on now and at least you can see from this angle you'll have a better view of what I'm doing That's the first part on. Like I said, you can, if you want to, just leave it like that. You don't have to fit this part. I didn't realize that until I took it apart. Right, now the challenging bit.
Right, I've tightened up the bolts that hold the bar to that bracket, and I've tightened up the bolts that hold this bracket to the bracket attached to the body. Oh, sorry, the bracket that is attached to the chassis. So now I need to go underneath and tighten up the chassis bracket completely, because that was only finger tight as well. And once they're tight, this is complete. The wall bar and the side runners are now finished. But you really want to have a look at this, don't you? Of course you do. That's why I've done it. I've done it for you guys. Anyway, as I said, I couldn't find any tutorials on this, especially the front bar, anywhere online. So what I've had to do is create one for you. And I'm guessing for the traffic, the Prima Star and the Vivaro will be exactly the same. So anyway, Let's have a look and see what you think. Let's see what you think of the whole vehicle. I'm just going to show you the side runs bar. Let's do the lot. Right, that's all we've got time for here at Built Not Bought Campus today, and I hope you enjoyed watching me install the bars and the ball bar, and I do hope you like what you see. Anyway, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, and please leave your comments below. Please keep them nice. Anyway, I hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well, and most of all, I hope you're staying happy. Bye for now.